Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Hey. Today we're going to be trying out some new drugstore makeup. I think I have two or three things that I've already used. If you guys wanted me to try it, like a full face of drugstore, so I thought let me just go to Boots and buy a bunch of drugstore makeup. Some products are new, like newly released. Some products are just products I haven't tried. And then, like I said, two or three I already had, but a drugstore and I really like them. What's your like best remedy for like blocked nose and a my sore throat's okay, but what about blocked nose? What do you guys do? I wanted to try that kettle thing. Not kettle, it's like a teapot and you put it in your nose and it like drains all your nose and stuff. I want to get that. Have you guys tried it? Because I've had a blocked nose for like a few days now and it's just, I'm so fed up. I can't taste my food. I feel like I'm not living. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump straight into the video. I need some lip oil. It's my NYX lip oil that I always keep with me. My favourite gloss at the moment is the Fenty one. Like, I literally wear it every day. Right, so before we jump to the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Shanice Almeida. So thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know in the comments below. Or you can just leave a nice comment. I don't know if it's if you say it's Sayo or if it's C-Y-O. C-Y-O? Brow Sculpting Pencil in the shade, I think it's called Frame of Mind. Oh no, dark. So it's a double-ended kind of pencil. It's quite slanted and you get spoolie on the end. Like definitely my type of brow pencil that I like. This is what it looks like up close. And this is the pencil. It's definitely like, it feels quite waxy. And usually with waxy like brow pencils, they don't usually tend to last long throughout the day. Especially where I bring it higher on my arc. But that's not bad. I really like the shade though. Just fill in the other brow. So yeah, this brow pencil is actually not bad. I mean, it's not my favourite out there. But I think it's around £5. And for that price, I think that's not bad at all. I'm going to pop some of my NYX Can't Stop Wear and Stop Concealer in beige as like my eyelid primer. Alright, so the next thing that I bought is this Obsessions Belle Jordan palette. I think it's a collaboration palette. Belle Jordan is a YouTuber. And I don't know, I just really like the colours in this. This is the palette, and the palette feels super sturdy. And look at the colours, they're so bright. They look really, really nice in my opinion. So I'm just going to wing a look with this palette. Right, so the first shade I'm going to take is Sagittarius, which is like a bright orange. That's not bad. I'm just going to bring it a little bit higher because I want to be able to see the orange. I might bring it in a little bit as well. No harsh lines. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to take for sure is So Cute, which is like a stunning like fuchsia colour. Just going to blend that just underneath that orange. Oh, Sky. Sky's so needy. So far, like, they're quite easy to blend and the pigmentation is insane. And this was quite an affordable palette as well, so I'm quite shocked. You can use your previous brush to, like, blend the two. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that Sagittarius colour. The next shade I'm going to take is called... What's the shade? 13. And I'm just going to kind of deepen... The outer corner or oh, this shade is not that great that's for sure i'm not going to put too much of that one Let's see if we can use a shade queen which is quite dark brown it's got some specks of sparkle i oh, see that one's not bad okay so the next shade is 
AF, which is a nice like bronzy color, but I'm gonna spritz it with some setting spray. Pop that all over the inner corner. That's actually quite a pretty shade. I like to bring it above my crease line a little bit just to like enlarge my eye. It's quite a bit of fallout to be honest. Oh. I think overall like the shadow looks nice but I was quite disappointed with that like purple shade. Just curling my lashes like so. I'm actually really liking the shadow. It's actually not bad. I'm actually, I'm gonna take the shade Lola, which I think is a black. It almost looks like a green black. I'm just gonna like do a liner. All right, so I'm quite happy with that. Honestly, the, the black is really nice. For mascara, I'm going to use one of my favourite drugstore mascaras, which is the Revolution Mascara. It's so good. It's got, like, the best brush. The lashes I have are called Flutter Lashes, and these are in the Irresistible ones. It's a pack of three that I got from False Eyelashes UK. Wow, look how loud he is. I'm gonna pop on some of my Hydro Boost City Shield Hydration Lotion with SPF 25. This isn't new, but I love this stuff. Just the Hydro Boost range in general is really nice. I recently purchased the Hydro Boost Eye Awakening Gel Cream. I don't have many eye creams, so I thought, let me get this one. It was on offer. It feels like quite like gel. Not like a lotion, but more of a gel. And that feels nice. And now I'm supposed to use tapping motions, but I always like to like swipe. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have wrinkles when I get older, but that's okay, that's all right. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be using is the number seven Hydro Luminous Moisturizing Foundation in Deeply Honey. I do have a review on this, so make sure to check it out. I'll link it in the info box. Um, but this recently came out and it's actually so nice. Don't be alarmed by the grayish look of the foundation right now. Trust me, it's fine. It'll be, it'll be good in a few minutes. But I just kind of and blend that all out. Oh, we got earring down, guys. Earring down. Okay, so this is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer with Caffeine. And I got the shade 12. Um, I went to double check in store to see if I got the right shade because all of this was ordered online. And number 13, the one above this, is more like my skin tone. Whilst this is light, slightly lighter, but it's more on a neutral side. Whilst 13 is quite warm. Super chunky little mini concealer. Like, it is tiny. The Dofa applicator is ginormous, though. Never seen one like this. This is the shade of the concealer. Like, it literally looks like nothing's there probably can't tell in real life but that is dry and that's wet and there's a bit of a difference it's gonna blend it with my sponge It's very like thin and watery. The coverage is okay. Not too sure about the shade though. Like, it's very like neutral. Not my favorite concealer out there, in my opinion. So next up, I got the Ready Set Smooth Barium Powder in Banana. There was a really, there was quite a lot of good reviews on this. I was gonna go for the Obsession one, but so many people said there's quite a lot of flashback with that one. 
I'm not about that life. So I'm gonna get this very M1 that had good reviews. Oh, it comes with a little powder puff. Let's use that. I haven't properly baked in so long. I really like this sponge. Right, let's brush this excess off. Mm, I'm quite impressed by that. Okay, now let's on move on to bronzer. I have this number seven bronzer in caramel. I think it might be too light for me. It's working. It's actually a really pretty shade as well. Like this is the type of bronzer color that I really like. I like to have the perimeter of my face like super bronzy, and like the center super like. Oh, I see. Like I love that. Oh my god, thumbs up for this bronzer. The next product that I got is so exciting. I got the Love Shook Highlighting Palette. Just look at the colours. The brush in there is so bad, so we can throw it that way. I think I'm going to mix these two together. Maybe a bit too much. Right, I'm now going to use the lighter shade as my highlight Ooh. it's got like this lilac reflect as well and then finally we're gonna do a lip I got the ultra matte liquid lipstick Le Chocolat by L'Oreal this is ginger bomb i've also been dying to smell this because apparently it smells really good oh my god do you know what that smells like my nose is a bit blocked but it's really strong but it smells like it smells like brownie mix <sighs> this color is so up my alley why have i not had this before Okay, so now for under my eyes, I want to go like really dark. So I'm going to first, but I, I still want to keep it really close to the lash line. So I'm going to use that shade So Cute and like blend that first. And then I'm going to take my little tiny brush with the black Lola. It's called Lola. I really like. I rarely like black all over, so this is definitely different for me. And this is the look, guys. What do you think? I really. <gasps> this is like super glam. And can you believe everything is drugstore? I mean, I was very heavy handed, maybe with the blush and the bronzer, but this is super glam. I feel like I don't even look like myself. Love, love, love the Sleek palette. That is a bargain. I'm actually quite loving the eye cream because my concealer went really nice on it. The lashes are super nice. The bronzer I was really surprised by. I mean, I thought it'd be too light, but it works perfect. So this is going to go in my daily makeup bag. Now the concealer is not bad. I don't think I would reach for it again, to be honest. Not my favourite out there, but I don't know. But I really do like the powder. I love the powder. Oh wait, let me just put some collection clear mascara. Lip is stunning. You're gonna see me wear this a lot. Although it's quite sticky. I'm really, really surprised by the eyeshadow palette. It's definitely one that I'm gonna be using. I mean, some of the colors aren't that great. Like for example, 13, like the purple one is useless. Maybe my, for eyeliner, it'd be good. But yeah, some are really good and some aren't that great. But how much did I get this for? The palette for around like, I think it was like 12 pounds maybe or 10 pounds, I don't know. The powder is like six pounds, I think. Yeah, the powder was six pounds, which is such a bargain. The lipstick is nine pounds. I feel like it could be less since it's like 
quite sticky. Smells nice though. And the brow pencil is four pounds, which is a bargain. I'm not mad at the brow pencil, it's not my favorite. I feel like the ones that didn't really stand out to me were the brow pencil and the concealer. I really like this color, which is making me like this lipstick a lot, but the formula isn't the best. But yeah, everything else I'm quite impressed by and I really like it. So let me know what you guys think. I'm living for this look. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time out of your day to do this. Honestly, it means the world to me. It really, really does. So yeah, also make sure to follow me on in, um, on Instagram. It's Anushka with two S's and two A's at the end. Um, link is in the inst uh, description box. I can't speak. <laughs> Um, let me know what products really stood out to you in this video in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe as well. Look out for more reviews and try on videos on my channel. I don't know. I have quite a few exciting videos coming up. I'm just so motivated to film, even though I'm like really sick right now, but I just want to film. Anyways, thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next one.